Hey! Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have our other favorite, Tyler, on the news today. Tyler, We've been wanting Tyler, to talk to you. Tyler. Double Tyler. <laughs> How do you know we're not the same person? Yeah, well, that's, you know, there's the, we haven't been able to conclusively prove it yet, so we're, we're yeah. working on it. This is the first time oh, we're in the same room together. That's true. That's very that's true. true. Yeah. Maybe this is the proof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you never know, dude, because you know what? When Chaotic Mathematics was on here with his 3D, with his avatar, I thought that on mobile, I thought that was a real person. So maybe you'll just have a really convincing 3D avatar. You are there you 3D that's people. True. I mean, eventually we'll never, we won't be sure anymore, but I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. yeah, I'm actually in an aquarium right now and you just don't know it. So oh, that you're is in beautiful. like a small human house full of air inside right. of a larger aquarium full of water. Yeah. Oh. Like of, yeah. It's like sea lab. building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we would love to hear a little bit about, you know, the, the elevator pitch of your project uh, for anybody who is new. I think everybody's been hearing a lot about you lately, but you know. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll kind of touch on some of the finer stuff too, but just to introduce, uh, Bitfin came about because I started Cardano NFTs last year. Um, I was actually in the space around like March, got kind of introduced to like Cardania and stuff like that. I was active in their community super early on, you know, just do marble races with like five, 10 people in the streams at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so super early on that, but I didn't start investing myself till like June, July. Uh, but I noticed like a lack of utility in NFTs and Cardano specifically. So I was like, what would be a cool way to give like everybody utility in a sense? So then we kind of came up with the idea. It's like, hey, we could do like some gallery stuff. Let you use any of your NFTs is that kind of thing. And I grew up really liking aquariums and fish. And I was like, well, a lot of people can't keep pets because they either kill them because they don't know what they're doing or they can't feed them because they're traveling. So I was like, all right, let's do digital pets. And that's kind of how the fish and the aquariums came about. Um, so that's a big part of it. And what spawned some more of the creativity in it was adding, you know, if you look at real fish, there's like fish that are more aggressive. You're not supposed to put multiple in aquariums. Yeah, right. like a beta, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like garamis, they're like, uh, they're related. They're like cousins to beta fish. So they'll be aggressive if they're big and they'll bully other fish. And so the idea was to implement that in the stuff too. So like our hostile versus docile, the dociles won't do anything crazy. The hostiles actually, if you have multiple in the tank from different species, there's a chance that they're gonna have like tussles. Like, well, <laughs> that's so cool. Wow, that's so, really smart. I love it. Yeah, yeah. so we got some stuff like that. Um, commons, a lot of people don't read our white paper, but commons can actually get eaten in future series by carnivore species. And no way. Wow. Yeah, so what we're Whoa. gonna do, we're going to try to do smart contracts essentially with Adam Dean and crypto nitties, uh, Ludo token, where Woo! if your fish get eaten, you basically would get your fish sent to an escrow wall and you would get a random chance of a ghost or skeleton fish back. In its uh -huh. place. Dude. So, oh, oh man. A crypto nitty, um, gallery in one of those would be the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then we came out with our Cory token. I introduced it in November. Um, that's going to be our main utility token. If you see like the pink and blue, like shiny coins, those are actually going to be the mechanism for breeding and getting one of one colorations. Of <laughs> pitch. So if you send us like a certain amount of tokens based on our white paper and a fee of ADA, we'll do a one of one coloration of your fish, however you want to do it. Um, and then if you send us two of your uncommons and they're different species, then you can send in the Cory tokens, those two uncommons, and then a fee, and we'll breed your fish for you and send you the bread species back. Wow. Huge. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I love that you came into this saying, what can I, what kind, what can I bring of value to, that, that everyone will get? I think that having that intention is going to, like, really get you to a good start. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, you know, I just had a lot of people that wanted to be able to use their stuff more. And so we've already had a lot of people doing crossovers or asking like different things. Like I've already came up with the idea, like if a project wants to reach out, regardless of who they are, if, uh, you know, there's some potential of crossover there, we could do stuff, you know, like take Tyler <gasps> robot. if you send us uh, like a 3D model of his robots, we get connected to his policy ID. So if you hold one of his NFTs, you can use that model as a decoration in the aquariums. Damn. Do like that. So we're kind That's of expanding. Be so beautiful. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So 
Um, that's a lot of our big ideas. Uh, our next mint for decorations is going to be in February. So about mid-February is where we're going. We're already looking at like 60 different unique assets for like trees, like those cherry blossoms you see are going to be. Oh, uh, I love cherry blossoms. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have like a holographic set, a lava set, um, a bunch of random stuff and all that. So. Oh, that, that sets it over the top for me to have thematic <laughs> intertwining things. Things or have it all be the same theme. Oh my god! So this person seems like a fish whale. They've got uh, so that, many that's, fish. That's actually, my, that's actually my aquarium. Uh, but, I thought so. But, uh, nice. I think I think our biggest holder. He's been one of our most active community members. He's got like over 150 fish right now. So wow. a whale is should have fish. Let's whale, be honest. You know? Yeah. You mean the, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, but this demo you guys see in our public beta, this would be a small aquarium. So we're going to have small, medium, and large aquariums. Oh, great. From. And then we're going to do, I'm going to do some environmental design. So you'll have biomes to select. So you can do like more of an Arctic background or something yeah. like that. Back in the darkness, we're going to have some more like coral and stuff. And then maybe some other species swimming around that we don't have in your aquarium, stuff like that. I, I can't so wait cool. to see that grow. Um, I have a question that I want to ask you, <laughs> which is. is what is your what is the fish that you you know feel is closest to your soul or that you like vibe with the most and biffins or a real fish any either I'll take both yeah uh if i was doing a real fish i'd have to say like a flower horn i don't know if you guys have ever seen those but they're like crazy. i knew i'd learn yeah. something new about fish today so those get bred for luxury Ooh. shows in Asia. They, they're they actually like a hybrid species, but when they're bred, they're bred to have like a bigger hump on their head. So as they get- It's like your hair. Bred, yeah. yeah so, actually, <laughs> awesome. so, so the one where it says Petco, that's usually gonna be an adolescent. And then as they get bigger, they grow that hump over time. Wow. So, it's I really their like third eye. Of, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I think out of all of the fish that we designed, I think the jawbreaker is probably one of my favorite just because it's so like unique from the other ones. Like it's got the big jaw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it reminds me of like the crimson chin from like uh, Fairly Odd Parents uh, and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. That's really awesome. I, I love that you knew that. I thought you would, but yeah. I, it's still really cool that you knew it like off top. Yeah. Um, I have kind so, of a re yeah. related question. Uh, what's the story behind the uh, the penguin in the, uh, in the collection? Uh, uh, so actually, I was looking at like some 2D games and stuff um, when I was designing it, and I saw like this penguin character that was walking around just like shooting stuff in a game, and then like the old Spyro games, he plays like the old like yeah. penguins and stuff. And mm -hmm. I was like, this would be kind of cool for like a fish, like you don't really see stuff like that. So I was like, how can I make like some weird mutant species? So I started making fish, and then I put like the mouth on it, and it just kind of came together. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that that's some of really these are cool. just imagined and some of them are. Yeah, more, that's how it should be. Based in reality. We don't have to live inside the lines all the time. That's right. Well, you guys are breaking through. I mean, we, we saw in some of these demos that you can place your NFTs in the aquarium as decorations. Right. Which yeah. Is... yeah that, 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 <laughs> I mean, we need more of that gallery that's, stuff around here. So up. it's like, oh, so. I mean, perfect. that sets this thing apart in another totally different mm -hmm. big way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people actually think that's not out yet, but if you go in our Discord, we do have an instruction channel where you can literally do that right mm -hmm. now, make a beta account, link multiple wallets, and do it all right now. So, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to hit that up. Right? I, sure. I, I asked a few shows ago. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys, anybody listening in the chat right now, this is why you guys need to be on CNFT News Update. We're going to be doing two aquarium decoration contests. The first one we're going to announce today, if you send us in screenshots or recordings of your aquarium, we'll select a few and we'll send them out Cory tokens. Oh, and, then, and then in February, after we do the decoration mint, we're actually going to have all of the assets in the aquarium loaded. So as you mint, you can load them into your aquarium. And we're going to do a second one there. Um, and we're going to be dropping the grand prize is going to include like a uh, good Charlotte clay. It's like one of the top prizes. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Nice. We love, oh, that's a great prize. And we just really love contests like that. Like, it, it, I mean, I just know that when I take part in a contest like that, I feel so much more bonded to the project. And I don't know, it's, it's awesome. 
yeah it's a lot of fun stuff you know like we just got the fishing uh the swimming animations we just posted some like facial expressions like we've got the job yeah, really. and stuff all looking sad and stuff in there so uh, we're even trying to make it more expressive you know the full end design we're gonna have vr so you can go in and hypothetically pet your fish kind of like the oh, dogs man so yeah that's, that's so, you go right yeah it. And then, don't cover the gills yeah and then we're gonna have an xp system actually to incentivize holding so based on how long you hold your fish and how many times you log into the aquarium throughout a week you'll get more xp and that'll influence not only the size of your fish but if they're commons you can unlock like particle trails so you can do as they swim around it uh, oh my god it's like marbles so you can have a trail oh i love right. that that's so yeah. cool yeah, um, that's great. One day, I imagine a three D aquarium in your house with like a projector inside of it instead of any fish, and you just show your bit fins fish swimming around. Or I'm even better, you have a real aquarium, and then the backdrop for it is the bit fins. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. damn! That would, be, that would be yielding the lily. That would be amazing. So you guys just sold out uh, very recently, right? Yeah, yeah, Saturday we just sold out. All right. Yeah, our first mints were in October, so it was a little bit, but we took got a little there. bit. But now yeah, yeah. you are a bit thin. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, worth it. it. That's why it's. Good. I think it's good to have it happen slowly sometimes, yeah. or all the time, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it's been interesting because if you look at the secondary market sales and stuff, there's actually, uh, I think at any given time, like especially now, a lot of people are buying them up this morning. We've got like less than 2% of like the 5,000 fish on secondary. And I think it might even be less people than that. Holding. Holding. Yeah, I was oh, just looking yeah. at CNFT and there's only, I think, three that are listed with smart yeah. contracts. But, yeah. But yeah. Very nice. I, I want to ask you, Tyler, um, what is something that excites you uh, about cnfts or blockchain in general um yeah i just kind of like the permanence of it and being able to transfer your stuff you know like people can argue you know if you're buying like a link to an ipfs or whatever like that with nfts but you know for our case you're buying essentially a key to load into a game and you can take that key anywhere and i think a lot of people don't think i'll side like that like i think nfts are like keys and you can do whatever you want with them whether you have that ipfs link or not and it's up to if you're making a project, it's up to you to develop that for people. And if it's you holding, you can also go and develop your own thing for your own stuff if you wanted. So I think it opens a lot of doors for that kind of stuff. Oh, yes. Totally. I think that, that whole, which I definitely want to do that thing where someone's holding one of my pieces, they can put something in the game. I think that's like the perfect example for that. Like, right. you never know what these things are going to, like you said, they're keys. So you can really do whatever you want with them mm -hmm. as keys. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been pushing this idea. Um, there's not a lot of projects that work that way in Cardano. Like, we'll have collabs, but it's usually, like, art drops. I've been thinking of setting up a foundation where we get a utility web across different projects. So that means there's two minutes left, just so you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, there you go. Um, so, yeah, utility web, like, you could take your NFT and you can use it in, like, four or five, six other different projects. And so, you know, that not only influences people to stay in the wallet, um and staying in the ecosystem but it also makes it so like you don't have to move all over you don't have to go to ethereum you don't have to go to other places you can do everything in your one thing and just it's like oh let me open my browser connect my same like nami dc vault wallet and i've got everything there it makes it super easy for people i can't it's it's crazy how much it's becoming easier and easier and like i feel much less of a barrier to telling people that i know to come right, in because there's web extensions yes. for wallets now from and it's not just one wallet now we got cc wallet that's joined the party and that just feels like it's so much easier to convince people like <laughs> to uh, we were just talking to one of our best friends and he was like oh man that was one of the biggest barriers for me so he's like a yeah. lot more interested in coming in yeah so that yeah all that's super fun you know i've told you guys uh if you guys are willing i'll i'll make like a 3d cnft news sign we can get that out to some people maybe to give away at some point so dude that aquarium. yeah that would be over the top that would awesome. be really exciting so. is there anything that you uh want to make sure people know about if they're just coming into the community or um what y'all are doing next yeah just keep an eye on the aquarium full launch it'll be midway this year is the estimate but we are ahead of schedule on development right now so we are doing well all right that. good place to be 
yep. And then, uh, yeah, if you're holding five, you get two airdrops for free decorations in February. So, all right, yeah. Ooh, very, nice. very nice. Good to know. Well, this what? was uh, very efficient. We did it. Efficient. Oops. And it's it was efficient. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there we go. Well, cool. Well, well, I I very much hope to see you again on uh, the news. Yeah, yeah we're definitely yeah. going to do well, this again. Thank you so much.